Welcome everyone, Bratboy90 here. We have the Toshiba C55DT, specifically the A5305 model. We're gonna be upgrading the RAM. It only comes with four gigs from the factory and we're upgrading it to eight. I believe you can go up to 12 on this model is where the uh, MOBO starts freaking out or the chipset. So I've got two Corsair four gig modules and these are the 1330V3 model, the 1333 megahertz. So what you're gonna need is a wide kind of flathead and a small screwdriver. And we're gonna wanna be safe here. If you have an electrostatic wristband, feel free to put it on. I don't feel the need to do so many times with uh, electronics unless they've kind of been running and then sudden. And I've never turned this on. So first you're gonna take out your battery. This one just slides left and right. So make sure it's in the outward position. Hold this one to the side and your battery will come out. Make sure you're not connected to anything at all, no USBs, no power, no nothing, just for safety so you don't get shocked and obviously the laptop doesn't get shocked. You have this screw right here, you're gonna unscrew it, and I did notice it's kind of a pain, it, it doesn't pop out really without some good force, and you'll pull straight up, actually on the screw, and your whole thing will come off. Don't keep bending too far or you'll snap these tabs, and vice versa, there's other tabs here, so don't really pry on it too hard it should come and pop out without too too much issue so you've got your hard drive here and you'll notice you have your ram in these two slots there's only one that comes with it it's a four gig single and to get that loose there's two tabs i'm going to point with the screwdriver here there's a tab here and a tab here you just push out on both of those tabs the ram will pop up automatically and you'll pull straight out don't force this if you break these tabs or anything your ram won't stay in so we're just going to take our new one now and that was a samsung 4 gig module and you'll come and you'll slide it in at an angle and get it so this notch slides in you'll see how the gold part of the ram kind of disappears and when you can't push in anymore go straight down with it and it clips in we'll take our second module and do the same thing in until Pretty much the gold has disappeared straight down and it clips in it's very straightforward and pretty simple on this laptop compared to others where you have to take apart the whole thing you'll go to push this in make sure all your tabs are in here and then here you gotta i try to squeeze this piece like that as i do it kind of push in and you'll you'll feel a notch kind of fall in pop in pop in you'll take your phillips again and you'll just tighten it up. You don't need to over tighten. You don't know what it's tightening to, plastic or metal, because we haven't gotten that far into it. Replace your power source and you're good to go. Boot up your laptop. It should boot up and recognize the new RAM. Thanks, comment, rate, subscribe. Grapple90 out.